Hi, my name is Alexandra and I'm a bibliophile. Welcome back to A Lovely Jaunt where we read better, not more. Today we are doing another Literary Terms mini video, so let's dive right in. Our word for today is metonymy, which comes from the Greek for a change of name. Um, some of you might be familiar with the term metanoia, which is the Greek word for repentance in the Bible, and you can see that changing of mind, changing of name, um, they have a, that similar uh, prefix on there. This happens when the literal term for something is replaced uh, with a more descriptive or representative term. A famous example is using the White House to represent the whole executive branch of the government. Another example is using Hollywood to refer to the film industry in LA, right? I use the book A Glossary of Literary Terms and I always advocate having a text like this in your library if you're a student of literature. And in this particular book, they give the example from As You Like It, doublet and hose ought to show itself courageous to the petticoat. So here we obviously have doublet and hose as being representative of the men and petticoat as being representative of the women. Again, we have an, one sort of object that is then sort of replaced and metaphorically represents something else. And that is metonymy. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Until next time, my name is Alexandra and I'm still a bibliophile.